is going on guys thank you for tuning in my name is Ernie Lopez with iFish fresh and salty and today we're in my garage we're gonna be doing a how to uh, organize tackle gear so we're actually in my garage right now and my plan is all of this stuff that you see right here guys um, it's all my tackle gear I did have it like in that right there and I did have them like labeled you know swim baits or you know bass fishing like super flukes you know stick baits rage tail or you know fishing line and you know I just kept like every time when I go out fishing it just took me a while to get everything organized and you know what kind of rig I'm gonna be doing or whatnot so I finally um, I know it really doesn't matter but you know this is obviously for my whole family you know I do have everything semi organized you know like my kayak gear you know surf fishing rods and holders and obviously all my kids bikes and you know their toys and stuff and here's my uh, my rod um, holder with uh, all my all my reels and rods and stuff so um, but that's that's not what we're here for we're here to organize and I'm going to show you guys I thought of a way how can I organize something and make it simple well I did purchase at Lowe's uh, I did go ahead and get um, a shelf that I'm going to be uh, making a shelf kind of like this but Obviously it's plastic, it's a little bit shorter and it actually fits, I believe when I did test it out, it's gonna fit about four of these bins. I did buy the lids for them. I am gonna be labeling them. So pretty much I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse. And if you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like these uh, these videos. And uh, I do have obviously other ones, fishing adventures, uh, cool things like that. But if you are a returner, thank you and enjoy. Right, guys we just got done not we I just got done uh, it took about an hour and a half time-lapse doesn't do justice for obviously the time that you're doing it it's freaking hot in this garage it's hot where I live at so um, but yeah check it out guys so this is my finished product what do you guys think you know it's a four tier shelf plastic pretty durable obviously you know fishing tackle is not even you know it's not uh, super heavy, you know, so that's what it looks like. I did end up having extra containers and my plan was having double like that two 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 and two, you know, so technically eight on each tier. So um, But anyways, that leaves me more room to buy stuff. You know how it is guys when uh, you do want to go ahead and purchase more gear and uh, It's like candy for us. So but let's go ahead and check it out. This is what I ended up doing so Technically what I did, I kind of matched the boxes, you know, to what they kind of go for, meaning um, like this, you know, I even wrote on here with uh, Sharpie, mice tails, obviously mice tails are the power bait mice tails for, I use them for trout. And underneath there I got, I labeled, you know, power eggs, salmon eggs, and boom, there you go guys. So I did write on top of the lids just because uh, obviously it's neater nicer but also like when I'm just looking like this obviously I'm gonna eventually memorize where everything is at and you can actually uh, you know see through so pretty much it, once again like uh, scents I just wrote up on top and obviously all of my scents uh, that I do use for you know whatever type of fishing whatever kind of species that I'm going after um, this one's uh, bass weights Boom, there you go. Everything's in their little container, so I know the weights of them. And uh, everything's just super, just for me, guys, I think it's just, you know, I try to do um, 
you know, a regular container like this and I was just, you know, uh, labeling them and putting the items in, you know, in there and just labeling them and like there's a swim bait one and jig heads and bobbers, so on and so forth. So that's all my bags that I did use and I think it came out freaking awesome. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Like it if you guys like it or, you know, give me another suggestion. But they're just something that I thought it was pretty cool and more convenient. So when I go out, when I go out fishing, it's just going to be like, all right, cool. You know, I'm going to go pan fishing. Cool. Let me go ahead and have, you know, get my rig set up and, and I could go to that uh, certain container, you know, put it on, on, um, uh, on, a, on my platform uh, table and start doing my rig and all done. So I think it's pretty cool. Just super convenient. You know, this thing, I mean, these cost about like 98 cents per little um, container. And then this guy was, I think, like 30 bucks at Lowe's on sale. So not too expensive. Everything total was probably like like 45 50 bucks so to me it's totally you know worth it so that's it guys so, i mean obviously i don't want to go through each one but like how i said i do label them and you know i put the items you know where it goes and so on and so forth like i was telling you like crappie baits so those are the soft plastics of the of the crappie baits and you know the jig head heads and boom there you go there's the jig heads of the uh you know to match those to match those worms or those baits for the crappie so that that's what i did you know you know all plastics for bass all in there you know uh kayatex miscellaneous like my braided glove you open magic string bait knife um ocean gear that i wrote on there uh crabbing gear i have in there so all my weights extra line that I do have um, so I do have extra room so this is pretty cool too so off topic I mean I do have everything like I said I redid my you know I'm doing the space that I have limited for my garage so I do have like you know my trout bag that was in my last uh, uh, episode and uh, just like a little duffel bag if I ever just instead of using my bag that I always use so now what's pretty cool is he's empty ready to go the only the only thing that I need to do now is like okay cool I'm gonna go uh, crabbing or or pan fishing or bass fishing I'm gonna grab my material put it in my bag grab my rods that I need and let's go so I think that's pretty cool so and I just got also too guys this is pretty cool that I did have I already I already did have this kind of organized but I have all my my tackle uh, boxes that I do like I was telling you guys, when I do, you know, grab whatever I need, put it in my bag, and then these boxes, obviously, that I need, you know, a crankbait uh, box or uh, uh, like like a buzz bait, spinner baits. But yeah, guys, I have literally like all of my stuff, whopper pot. I mean, I have everything like labeled frogs, swim baits that are already pre-rigged, ready to go, um, rattle traps. So just want to show you that. That's pretty cool. So yeah my extra stuff here I got my fillet table I got my uh, my outside uh, fryer my little you know lanterns and my I don't really use him but uh, you know a little cutting board so all my boots my um, my wagon that I have you know if I ever do a lot of bank long distance bank fishing so I just take my wagon and I put my rod holders and my chair and my bucket we, we usually use this for crabbing just because it is a far distance and uh another thing guys off topic with, that i did organize i did these bins like uh you know like a catch and cook bin and obviously it has my stuff for catch and cook and uh you know i ernie surf gear put my surf gear in there um you know camping stuff like sleeping bag air mattress air pump so i literally did to the to the point of you know what i'm tired of looking for things where is this where is that so i think it was a pretty cool idea let me know if you guys think it's a good idea but i think this is the best way and i, never, I haven't really seen this on youtube because i'm a big youtuber i love to watch other people and um i'm just exp showing you guys what i think it's pretty cool and pretty organized to have 
this. So I'm using the space that I do have for my family and obviously for myself. So give it a big uh, thumbs up guys. Hit that smash button for that subscribe. And I uh, hope you guys like the video and I will see you guys on the next adventure. Later.